What's up guys? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today and we're here with the FlightScope Mevo Plus. That's the radar-based portable golf launch monitor and we're hooked up to Awesome Golf. So we've shown FlightScope Mevo Plus quite significantly in the channel along with Awesome Golf. Make sure you check out our other videos. All right, I actually show you guys the range and shootouts and challenges and even some virtual golf, but there's been a big update for Awesome Golf, and I want to share that with you today. So 1.8.0, it's available for download. All right, if you're looking to purchase a FlightScope Mevo Plus, um, you know, make sure you shoot me an email. I'll make sure that I can save you the most amount of money and also have wholesale access to all kinds of various products and everything. But if you're a current user of FlightScope Mevo Plus and you either haven't seen Awesome Golf or you actually are a current user, you can actually download this update now. All right, so let's go over the uh, update details really quick and then we're going to dive in and i'll show you uh, some of the app okay so in virtual golf players can now create teams so what they call better ball or best ball scrambles alternate shot all supported team structures and there's actually a skins match format that's been added so really cool stuff but here's something a lot of people are asking for they only had two courses before they've added a third course it's called desert canyon all right we're going to show that to you today so stay tuned all right mulligans have been added i know a lot of people are asking about that depending on what, what's going on if you want mulligans available well, guess what they've been added they're really listening to the users you know listening to that user feedback and you know acting on it which i think is very cool so offline mode i know this was important for a lot of people so if you don't have internet available can you still use the app say you're out at the range and you don't have internet well guess what there's offline mode available now they've added that i think that's fantastic um, some new settings a lot of people don't have a center uh, aligned simulator they have to use an offset environment okay where you're hitting off to the side well guess what they have projector alignment now, so you can actually get that feeling to where you're lined up correctly in an offset environment, all right? So tilt and roll have actually been added to the app, so you don't have to worry about tilt and roll outside of it, then go back in. All right, you don't use 12 degrees for awesome golf, all right? It's actually the full tilt for full shot only. There's no putting, okay? So just understand that. And then as far as uh, general settings go or general updates, they updated outdoor processing and they eliminated wind for the spin access, okay? And then uh, bug fixes. They just had some general bug fixes and uh, performance improvements. And then if you do get an estimated spin number, they're actually gonna show that in italics now, okay? So you actually can get an indication if there was an estimated spin versus uh, measured, measured spin from your uh, launch monitor. So other than that, we're good to go. We can dive right into the app and I can show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I'm not gonna go over the settings and everything because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go right into virtual golf. Uh, Desert Canyon, now check this out. It says, hold onto your hats, big hills, high winds, and narrow fairways. So this is kind of the opposite of you know Spring Park Hills where it says wide fairways, large greens. Yeah, and, and it says light wind. <laughs> so here we go, let's go out there. I've checked out a few of these holes and if you go to like three, look at this cool par three. Um, there's a par four that I think we can get through pretty fast. Here it is right here. So I'll show you guys a couple holes really quick i like how you can just select what holes you want to play you can see there's the match play and skins and scramble and best ball alternate shot all been added um, the shot countdown timer we're not going to use and mulligans if you want them um, there you go so we're good to go there all right we're going to do pentagon that's where you if you drive the ball up to about 280 yards they do have tips available as well um, when you jump out like i do without any warm-up we don't need to be uh you know swinging our, our back out of place so uh cool little flyover check out this par three i figured it would be a great hole to demonstrate to you guys and here's what's funny is it's crazy wind usually oh yes there you go 13 mile an hour right in the headwind so what's cool is, is sometimes it's coming off the side. Um, you know, you have to adjust depending on what's going on. Um, now let's talk about the setup that I'm using today. So I'm connected to this iPad Pro uh, 11 inch, latest generation, and I have it connected to this 1920 by 1200, 16 by 10 format projector. Now the resolution of that iPad 11 inch is almost 16 by 10, all right? And it's much higher than the 1920 by 1200. So it fills up this whole screen. Look at that eight foot tall image with just little black bars on the side. All right, we're not using a PC. We're, we're wirelessly connected to my iPad Pro using a FlightScope Mevo Plus. So I uh, just want you guys to understand how that works. Looks like we can kind of hit a dead straight shot. I mean, maybe we, uh, because you can aim and we'll just hit dead straight, maybe we drag it just a little bit to the right because I can see that just kind of, you know, that's a heavy wind. All it takes is a little bit of a crosswind to make a difference. And then we'll just make a nice smooth eight iron swing is what I'm thinking because it's downhill, but right into your face. Oh, that could play really well. Oh, the wind's still catching it. Oh. Am I going to be on the green though? 
All right, two putt for par. Not too bad. Man, the wind really caught that thing. All right. All it takes is a little bit. When you're talking 15 mile an hour wind and stuff, um, and you know, that, that very well could have had some left side spin on it too. That's my normal shot is a little bit of a draw. So it makes sense. You know, those combinations. I should have hit tried to hit a fade in there and kind of cut it into the wind a little bit. Another cool flyover of this uh, par four. I need to grab my tee actually. There we go. And I'm playing with a Pro V1 with the metallic dot on it. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Um, what do we have for wind here? Oh no, this is interesting. This is the opposite. So it's 17 mile an hour wind. Oh man, we're gonna be able to cut the corner here. I mean, that's, that's blowing hard. So what do we wanna do? Maybe aim over here? It's downhill as well. Oh wow, well this will be fun. So 60 mile an hour going that way, 31 feet downhill. Let's see if I can get this ball flying. Maybe it'd be great to hit a little bit of a draw and go with it, but. That was a little towards the toe. See it, see it with that left, left spin? Oh, it's gonna play so well though. <laughs> It was a little off the tilt. Look how far the ball went with the almost 20 mile an hour wind. 294. And it was downhill too. That's awesome. This makes it fun. You know, go out here and, and rip a bunch of uh, different shots. And let me tell you, because uh, I played a couple different holes messing around with it, um, with the headwind and the sidewind. When you have something coming across, hold on to your hats, just like it said. So. I'm actually, it's behind me again, and it's gonna, I'm gonna be flighting a wedge, so I better be careful here. It says 74 yards. Oh man, let's see if we can play this right. I have a 58 degree here. Hopefully that wind doesn't go too crazy with it. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was just way too much, way too much. I should have thought, I mean, that's, you know, think of how a 58 degree is, is flying, but this is cool. This is really cool. Cause I'm gonna be able to show you guys the lie penalties that they have. Okay. So this is a poor lie. I'm coming out of the rough. So I'm going to have to hit it harder than 20 yards. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Get in there. All right. So we saved far. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey, for no warm up this morning and jumping out there, I will take it. So, I mean, I th hope this was a very good example of, you know, what Awesome Golf is doing, um, releasing a bunch of different updates, um, and they've been really doing it at a fast pace. So make sure you pay attention. I'll try to keep you guys as updated as possible along the way. Like I said, Flight Scope Mevo Plus, there's a lot to this unit. Make sure you check out the other videos in the channel, okay? Um, I'll always put cards up in the upper right of the videos, throughout the videos, you know, things that are relevant. Um, try to put some links in the description. Make sure you comment below any questions you have. And like I said, if you're looking to purchase a Flight Scope Mevo Plus, make sure you shoot me an email, all right? Pinned to the top of the comments in the description. Make sure you're getting the best price, all right? And then also savings on anything else, you know, projectors and screens and turf and all that type of stuff. So shoot me an email. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like I said, make sure you comment below any questions or even thoughts on this. I'd love to hear your feedback, all right? And stay tuned. There's a lot more coming soon.